At long last, Felida de Geek manages to admit resorting to flagging. Yesterday, on the 28th of June, Death of Speech releases a video entitled Smiling Skeptic and a Kinder, Gentler Rape Shaming. While Death of Speech was trying the very best to justify dog dropping real names from Skype, suddenly Felida de Geek jumps in and entered a most interesting comment that confirms the suspicion we've had all the time. I've noticed the veiled message, and I'll point them out one by one. So this means she's planning to flag them from now on. I'll keep that in mind. We all know that YouTube Terms of Service is not carried out as they say in their documents. YouTube's judgment on flagging is an unstable systematic application. Coughlin666 knows all about this when his educational video about internet pornography got him suspended. The video contained no pornography, but only facts and strong statistics. Unlike you guys, I don't false flag. Of course she doesn't. According to Felida, nothing she does or says is wrong or false. I'd be a slanderous fool to believe otherwise, wouldn't I? And hiding behind the terms of service to find a perfect justification to shut other people up is the most brilliant hero card she has ever played. The pattern reminds me of the flag threats that we've received from Life in the Tent a while ago. He also believed that his flagging campaign was justified by the terms of service. And I don't see why videos critical of her or him would violate the terms of service if they are devoid of any personal attacks. I do not understand this. Indeed, from now on every video flagged by Felida is a legit flag according to her, especially if they are about her. Now I've seen this pattern before, and not only coming from a guy like Life in a Tent. On the 21st of February, Sniper of Buffalo gets a video about Felida flagged. He barely had any subscribers at the time, so I really doubt his viewers took it down. This video got him suspended for two weeks being unable to log in, change any profile information, making comments or uploading videos. Of course, soon after this, he gained the support from his allies who mirrored a video spreading the message about his backup channel. It didn't take too long for Felida to open her mouth about it, and what do you know? She posts comments about it that reveal a similar logic she has used yesterday. In this comment she acknowledged that she's seen it, and according to her it violated the TOS. She has motive to either do it herself, or let her flying monkeys help her. In yesterday's comment she says, I will legitimately flag any of your videos that violate the YouTube TOS now. This is not the only time we saw the patterns. The Mad Shangy Owns posted a video on the 1st of May entitled Felida the Geek, I Want to Be a YouTube Star. Although I was personally entertained by the comedy and musical performance, there was a very strange activity going on in the flooding pile of comments. I've noticed one of these comments came from Felida's boyfriend, Radon, who is also known as Atomic Number 86. Here he says, you should agree to help me get through friction off YouTube. By now I've learned how to avoid getting distracted from the bait since most of these veiled threats are wrapped with power words provoking you to focus on those arguments instead of the thread itself. Felida does this a lot too. It didn't take too long for the video to get flagged and it was taken down for nudity. Before this happened Felida and crew ended up getting mad. I take it they couldn't handle the heat. But the fun part about this was that YouTube itself agrees that Felida's boobs are no longer welcome on their website. I'm not trying to insert any insults here, but I just cannot resist making a joke. <laughs> Believe me, I've tried to be as nice as possible in this whole horseshit event. Fortunately, we record a lot of activity. One may call this obsession, but I prefer to keep to the code that Preserving evidence is a much better stance. Felida is known and outed for the fact that she makes evidence disappear. 
This has been pointed out by Truth Friction many times. In one of their videos, they still have comments made by DM Crispin, who has tried very hard to get a story out about Felida the Geek since 2010. Dear DM Crispin, I have never publicly apologized to you for the things that I've said about you on Rise's channel. As a token of making it up to you, I offer you the voice of this channel. You may feel free to accept my offer. Dear Truth Friction, On behalf of the Alliance of Demons and Associates, I would like to thank you for supporting everyone in this case. I still have no frigging clue who you are, but I do not have a difficulty with Anonymous and any Anonymous messages. I would not have known what to do without you, and I've learned a lot from your skills. You were the voice that we never had. You made no money out of this, and your efforts must have drained a lot of energy. You guys are the best bullshit busters I've ever seen. Yours truly, Zerota.